Welcome on back to Basis Claims, our casual conversational comedy podcast. My name is Tay, comma, unprepared. <laughs> My name is Tori. Glad to be back, Thompson. My name is Tyler, the Googler. Mathisa. Ooh, the Googler. Hey, gang. Yeah, Can hi. I hit you? Can I, I have something to say, and I don't know what you're going to think about it, but I, I think I actually do care about pronouns. Did you not before? No one cares about pronouns, you know? Like, the only people that care about pronouns are the people that are um, yeah. angry. But before, I was like, I was like, whatever, like, it doesn't matter. If someone calls me, like, if someone is like, they is referring, like, I, you know, whatever, I don't care. And I was at the dog park, and this husky came up to me. And I did was you like, say, hold on, did you the, say the a dog? hussy or a husky? Uh, yeah, a dog, <laughs> a, or are you well, being derogatory? <laughs> uh, no, a, a Siberian husky. Okay. Trotted okay. up to me. Mm-hmm. And I looked at the owner and I was like, oh, what's their name? And his response was, she's a girl. <laughs> and How I, am I, I was to like, know? huh, that's weird. Like, I don't, I guess I wouldn't care. There was nothing signifying. Like, it's just a dog. Yeah. So I was like, huh, that's, that was kind of weird. Like, well, I wonder why he cared. Like, hmm, that seems just so strange to me. Cut 20 minutes later. My dog starts playing with this English setter, and the owner goes, oh, he's so cute. And I got fucking fired up, let me tell you. What? Why? He? Oh, he's so cute? <laughs> he? Have you, have you not looked upon this beautiful feminine Tori. dog that I have Tori. with a round, bouncy ass? And I, I have the one breed of dog that's not creepy to say that about, right? <laughs> You're going to look at this beautiful princess and call... He? You think he's a stinky oogie boogie man? No, fuck no, I... fuck you. <laughs> that she is she her all the way, okay? There's no they them here. This is my sweet princess dog. Oh. <sighs> and then I realized that I do heavily gender my pets. So that's okay. That's fine. Like, yeah, that's, and I'm not, hey, and you know what? I'm not going to let the lib stop me from no, doing no, no, it, No, right? no, 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 That's fine, but you don't need to get so fucking defensive when someone he? doesn't know. He? My beautiful little angel princess dog you think is a he? <laughs> get what, the what, fuck out of here. Look at your what, English setter, ugly fucking dog. Wow. <laughs> I actually don't know what that is. Hold on. Yeah, it's not, it's not a pretty dog. English setter. Yeah, I'm also going to Google that as well because, like, I really... Now, Grey Fanta this is good podcasting right now. Oh, <laughs> ew. That. Yeah, oh, wait, that's, yeah. Just, that's, so, just, like, that's just a bad picture. No, these are fine. They're just dogs. Yeah. Well, first of all, I think all dogs are beautiful dogs. Yeah. Except, no, the, except, the, crusty, except the crusty little white ones. Exactly. Yeah, oh, no, yeah, no, them. not all dogs. You're right. Yeah. Hashtag not all dogs. <laughs> Except the crusty little, except the crusty little like ankle bitey white dogs. Nobody likes those ones. Yeah, Chihuahuas. The ones that are always nervous. The ones that look like they're nervous. <laughs> yeah, the ones that for like somehow every one of them was abused in a past life. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're always they're, they're always, always like so sorry. Shaky. He fucking he like yeah, they one an eye or a leg is missing something mm-hmm. or teeth like something's missing. Not all the parts are intact. You've never seen a fully complete Italian greyhound. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing too with those like little like white ankle b- biter dogs is you've never seen a dog so obviously outwardly loved and cared for either. They are right. always the most mm-hmm. spoiled dogs on earth, yet for some reason they shake as if their owner's going to hit them at any fucking moment. <laughs> yeah, you ne- you never meet one on a walk on a leash. You meet one in a stroller that's being pushed on the sidewalk. Fair. Yes. Fair. Yeah. And like, if you, God forbid, you go to a house where the white dog lives there, they are jumping all over you. There is zero social mm-hmm. skills in that dog whatsoever. Yeah. And then it's always like, oh, sorry, she was abused. Yeah, they they always are ready to kill too when they can. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if they see yeah. a baby, if they see a baby, they'll bite the baby. Oh, it's over, yeah. yeah. I yeah. feel safer with like... I feel safer around pit bulls than I do like chihuahuas. Yeah. Well, hey, I like chihuahuas, so you can fucking stuff that opinion up your ass. That's an ankle biter. What are you fucking talking about? We're not talking about the same type of dog. We're talking about we're talking about these like wire hair crusty motherfuckers. Yeah. 
Chihuahuas. Not just any small dog. No, nah. Tyler, you're not thinking of a chihuahua, are you? I'm thinking, I'm also, I'm including chihuahuas. Like, I agree they're Thank not you. the nah. white, they're not the white long hair kind of things, but yeah, I do no, include that, I know chihuahuas. That's not what we're talking in about, the but chihuahuas are in that category. All Tori, right. do you have like an attachment to like the Taco Bell dog or something? Like, is there? Yeah, like I a- like Chihuahua. I had a Chihuahua in my life that I liked a lot. Okay. Okay. Really? Yeah. Oh, and then you also, but you also had two crusty white dogs. Yeah. So maybe you're the worst person to be asking. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you're. The- but I don't like the crusty white dogs. I do like Chihuahuas. Look, my whole point is that I thought I was like this good person who's like, it doesn't matter. Like, pro, like, w- just say whatever, you know. I thought I was so progressive about this. And then I realized how fucking heavily and intentionally I gender my animals. Mm-hmm. Now, what are you doing to your animals? What, what, what gender behaviors are you exhibiting? Oh, uh, to your I got animals? my dog uh, implants. No, I'm kidding. Uh, uh, no, like, okay, you know how, like, people have... My dog got top surgery. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, you know how you, you guys are both pet my owners. Corgi, so you, my corgi, my beautiful corgi. <laughs> my corgi's got, got, got fucking bolt-ons. <laughs> my corgi has C-cups. <laughs> They're way too big. We can't call the episode that. <laughs> and people won't stop looking. <laughs> My brushes too. <laughs> My corgi has C cups. She can't walk with them. <laughs> they're, they're they're bigger than her little legs. <laughs> her back is killing her. <laughs> but boy, are they some good uh, looking honkers oh on my that. God. <laughs> we spared no expense. Uh, by accident, I got her. I got her a BBL. <laughs> it came with the boob job. It was a two for <laughs> one. If I would get one. Oh my they were God. having a BOGO at the dog plastic surgery clinic. <laughs> no, you know how you, okay, as pet owners, you know how you have like a million names? Like you, you um, call you, you, yeah. you have a million different derivative nicknames for your animals. Tori, yeah. I don't own my animals, okay? I take care of them, okay? Okay. I don't feed my animals the oh my filth that you You're might feed You're an insufferable person. What do you, I the fuck you. do you feed them then? I feed them Mountain Dew and popcorn. Mm, they're Whatever on a the raw expense- fish diet, but only red meat fish because yes. white meat fish gives them the poops. Red tuna exclusively is what I feed my, my beautiful animal. A shaved carrot for a treat for later. Caviar. But no, I totally, anyway. agree. I totally get where you're coming from, Tori. Because like, like my roommate's cat, uh, Aaron, is just like I, I walk around the house all day and I'm like, hey, big man, what's going on? Oh, look at this yeah. little guy. <laughs> the number one thing, I, my cat's name is Maury. The number one thing I call him is Mister Man. <laughs> I see. I, I can, I can halfway agree because one of my cats, I have two cats. One of my cats, I'm like, she's beautiful. She's regal. She's a princess. She is everything a cat can strive to be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This one comes, this other one comes from the trash. This one, <laughs> I, I don't even call her by her name. I call her bug or I call her poop oh, cat. That's so mean. Uh-huh. She's, she's trash cat, poop cat, stink cat, or bug. I don't even call her by her name. I think it's funny that I know which cat of yours yep. <laughs> you like and which one you don't like just by that description. It's no, no, it's not that I don't like her. It is just like uh-huh. I can get where the gendering thing comes from with the cats because it's like one, I'm just like, she's beautiful. She's everything Elegant. a cat could yeah. want yeah, to be. Yeah. Elegant. Wow, she's so graceful. Look at the way she goes across the room. And then the other one, I'm just like, you're, you disgust is me. Is Trash Cat a boy? No, Trash Cat's a girl. Trash cats are they them. Trash cat's barely a cat. Trash cat is just a dark entity that looms over this household. She doesn't know how to clean herself. She's bad at being a cat. <laughs> oh my God. My cat is bad. Tyler, well, both of you have seen my cat, but this is Lori quite is a literally. I, I, I saw this cat for the first time in a while. It is comically like, we say this is a big cat. I don't He's think huge. if you're listening, 
You can physically understand the size of this cat. He's, he's is, like a 25 pound cat. He's he enormous and he's hilarious. Mm -hmm. He is hilariously huge. He walks in and he looks like a ball. He just yeah. looks like a ball. You know, it can, it, it's people comment on it. That's how big he is. Yeah. You know how when you go to the grocery store and there's always that like big cardboard thing of watermelons and you're like, damn, those are huge. <laughs> yeah. Maury he is, is bigger than those. <laughs> he is he's about the size okay. of a watermelon, a large watermelon. No, he so, is, Tori. He's a big boy, and he's very, very fluffy. Unfortunately, because of his size and the length of his fur, he's unable to clean a lot of spots on his body, and his long hair gets matted up. We just had to lion shave him. No. <laughs> so his head really? fur is there, and his tail fur is there. Everything else is shaved down. You need to send me a picture <laughs> immediately. Yeah. I want to see how much of a ball he looks like. I want to see how much yeah. like a doofus he looks like. Does he look sad? I bet he looks sad. No, nah, I think he loves it because I think all the knots fucking hurt him. Oh, fair. Um, I wanted to play a little. I want to play a game. God, not another one. Um, it's, well, I, I ran into a uh, an issue uh, a couple weeks ago where I was trying to remember, and this is like, I get, this is a bad thing to admit to the entire internet. I fully understand that, but it's, <laughs> it, the context is needed for why we're playing this game. Oh, wow. It's crazy how you have a recorded air, uh, a recorded place where you can uh, manufacture this pre-written story of why you are Googling <laughs> this specific thing. So when law enforcement comes, you're like, no, it's on my podcast. There's the receipt <laughs> for you. Pretty I also, pathetic. I also love how you're framing this as if you don't have a choice to bring this up. <laughs> I I know. Well, it's it is fun. I do find it very funny. Like as I can laugh at my own, I can laugh at my own oopsie. All right, what'd you Google? Because I was I was trying to remember, like, oh, what are those things called? Where like you know how like in like swimsuits they have like the the inflatables like built in for kids, right? Like there's like. There's like a there's like the inflatable things that are built into a kid's swimsuit. What is that called? And then I googled without thinking kids swimsuits and I was like as soon as I hit search I was like fuck yeah. nope not what I meant. Ah, damn It'd be it. funny if you hit if you hit enter and a bullet blew your head off immediately. <laughs> <laughs> or, or at the very least, a boot kicked in your door. You know, yeah. yeah. Would, like the algorithm I, knows you don't have kids, and even if you're an uncle. You shouldn't be buying nope. that for them. Exactly. <laughs> especially if you're an uncle. What the Probably fuck? Probably especially if you're an uncle. Probably especially if you're an uncle. Hey, hey, all the uncles out there. A pajama set? Totally chill. Swimsuit? Maybe not, bud. Yeah. Maybe not, bud. Maybe send the link to the parents and be like, I heard good reviews on this. If you're going <laughs> to buy something. Yeah, like that, that almost seems that worse. actually. <laughs> yeah. Hey, at least you're not trying to keep it secret. You're like, look, I'm. I think this is a cool <laughs> ass swimsuit. It's gonna be great for their swim training. Is that what that's what they call it? Swim no, no, training? no, 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 no. See, that's that's where we're 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 talking about a hyper specific where that kid is on like a swim team. We're just talking like a normal ass swimsuit. Yeah, uh, you could do that yeah. if it's like if it was like a Buzz Lightyear swimsuit and it had wings and you were like, this is pretty cool. This is actually very cool. You should get this. Anything right. else, it's like... You're mm. probably right. I'm just trying to... I'm, I'm trying to protect some of the uncles out there, but I don't know why. <laughs> I don't, have you ever met a good uncle? You know me. I've always been the defender of uncles. It's kind of my <laughs> shtick, but I guess it's time to lay <laughs> down my sword. It's your shtick. To defend, you're, the, you're the white knight of uncles everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I lay down my sword for uncles globally. <laughs> I will defend People don't them. understand how hard it is to have your sibling have a kid. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know what we go through, okay? <laughs> oh my god. They've never they've never felt the duty, the call, the 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 extreme stress that it takes to be an uncle, okay? The few, the proud, the uncles. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they there's a reason they call him Uncle Sam, okay? It's cuz it's way harder. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Yeah, why, why do, do they, they call, call him Uncle, uncle Sam? Sam? Because it's harder to be an uncle. It's more masculine. <laughs> it's more masculine to be an uncle. There's more raw masculine energy in Wait. an uncle than a father. That's true. Does that mean Lady Liberty and Uncle Sam are they siblings? They fuck. No, they fuck. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, Lady Liberty and Uncle Lady Sam Liberty fuck. is his step sis, okay? So <laughs> technically nothing wrong. Oh my god. I don't know if Do that's you- the lesson to, I don't know if that's the I don't know if that's the lesson to take from it is technically nothing wrong. Lisa Ann said it was okay. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh, all right, mm-hmm. I, I, I'll do I'll do my own research then. Tough crowd here. Yeah. <laughs> wow, tough crowd. Okay. So, all right, all right. Put in put in a porn star that would have made that funnier. Stick. You can just insert that. I'll try it at the next uh, my next gig. Going back to why we're originally here, it's funny that we all turned on Tori for saying the name of a porn star <laughs> when I Googled kids swimsuit and like yeah, somehow is- Tori mm-hmm. ended up being the I like ah fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Tori knows an extreme the name of like someone you could accidentally learn the name of. But and Tyler Googled kids swimsuit, but Tori's the bad guy. Yeah. Um I'm sorry, I'll take the bullet. I I like like I said, as soon as I hit search, I was like, fuck. No, 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 no. And just closed the tab immediately. Just so if there is the data on how long the tab was open, mm-hmm. it Which shows they definitely have. They definitely have that. But it that's shows our, at that's, least that's a saving grace for any misclick, misunderstanding of a thumbnail or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Just like as back, 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 you, back, back, back. Yeah, mm-hmm. as long as you hit that back button instantaneously, it holds up in court. I I should be on a list for that. I fully will accept being on a temporary list for accidentally Googling that. But what I wanted to do now is go through my Google activity and just kind of see, like, what was going on here? Like, maybe I can Mm -hmm. find some some golden, (laughs) some gems in here. First one, how to donate lots of money to charity. (laughs) (laughs) Two... (laughs) What nursing homes need free volunteers? <laughs> I, I just like instantly just like tried to like correct it myself. Just like tr- Googling to make myself seem like a really good person. Volunteer mm-hmm. opportunities near me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Food bank hours. Volunteer. <laughs> uh, this one probably doesn't look good for the, for the accidentally Googling kids swimsuit. This one probably actually doesn't look well, but I'm going to I'm going to say it anyway because it's content, baby. <laughs> don't don't Disney annual pass cost. Yikes, Bro. Tyler. <laughs> Bro. Well, because you, what I was trying to do there have to offer this information. <laughs> I know, but it's funny. I was looking it up because I was like, "Huh. I wonder how much like how much are people that are regularly going to Disney spend Spending on Disney. And I found out yeah, that and it is like, And to my knowledge, you, you don't even like Disney that much. This is purely research as like, oh, what are Disney adults doing, those sick fucks? <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. I'm psychoanalyzing Disney adults and being like, how much are you guys even fucking spending on this? It is, if you're not a resident of Florida, to go like a max number of times per year on days where they can just say like, no, you're not even allowed in. Like they can just tell you, no, you're paying four and a half grand. If you're not a resident of Florida, fuck that four and a half grand to get like the lodging, the parks pass, all of that stuff. It's insane. Cause there's all the tertiary costs of like the food and all of that stuff. Those aren't aren't negligible costs either. Yeah. Look at Mickey. I'm 38. (laughs) (laughs) What are you doing? I'm in a Disney gang because I think Goofy is cooler. Gang? They have Disney gangs. No, they don't. Yes, they, have, they do. Yeah. No, 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 no. They no, have no. like, yes. Don't <laughs> listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm refusing to acknowledge that that's a thing. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Yeah, don't look into it. That it's, you'll be better off for it. I hate that I know it. Like they like, are you saying they got like switchblades and they're like, hey, why yet? Hey, you can't hang around this part of the animal kingdom. This is goofy territory. But it's like the switchblade that's a comb, so they can just keep their hair slicked. <laughs> yeah, me and uh, me and the me and the Daffy Duck boys were thinking uh, maybe this is our part of Epcot now. Okay, maybe we get the Epcot ball from Mickey, huh? Is that what you're saying happens? Is that what you? Is yeah. that what you're? Yes, they get into fights and get kicked out. You think you can fuck with the mouse? <laughs> so it's like a fight can... club? 
You think you can fuck with the mouse? The mouse owns you, you Daffy Duck weirdo. Listen here, all right? Listen here. You're in the mouse's house, okay? You're in the mouse's house. You guys wouldn't fucking believe it, okay? They got the fucking mouse here, okay? I all like right? Pluto. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Everyone simultaneously starts stabbing that guy <laughs> with their combs. There's 732 stab wounds. <laughs> Another thing I Googled here is I want you to, I want you to think, I want you to wonder why. I want you to play a game with me on like, why did I Google this? I searched Anoka Dominoes. Now, Anoka is a town that's like w- an, over an hour away from me, right? Why would I have Googled Anoka Dominoes? To put together review content for the podcast? No, but that's a good idea. I should do that. Hmm. I think you have something coming up in Anoka and you are wondering if you could have it delivered to that spot by the time you make it there. So it's like arriving for you. You have to like go there for some reason. Fair, fair. No, but very good (laughs) guess. Uh, What I did did was I was driving past it and I saw about f- like I think 10 squad cars is a reasonable number yeah. in a Domino's parking lot and about mm-hmm. eight more that were lining the street all the, the way up fuck? to the Domino's mm-hmm. and I found out that day there was a craft fair that was going on so At I think Domino's. I couldn't find the news story but I think this craft fair ended in one can only assume a 40 person shootout at the local Domino's. <laughs> I mean, without, with the amount of squad cars that were there. I'll be honest, I'd kill someone for some Domino's right now. Now would that you, you said that. Would you kill a man for Domino's? Allegedly. I, I might cut someone's arm off for Domino's, but I don't know if I'd kill them. Yeah, I mean, not on any, but particularly right now. When I'm starving, mm, yeah. Okay, okay, I see. I, I I understand the the hunger, but I don't I don't I'm, I don't I don't maybe agree with going to those lengths. You, you know, googled kids swimsuits. I don't care what you think. <laughs> that's you know what, and that's well within. You're okay to say that. <laughs> I can fully acknowledge that that was a bad thing for me to Google. Okay, I searched on May 9th, On May 9th, I searched harpoon tips. Oh. Now, on May 9th, I searched what to do if you missed May the 4th be with you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I missed it by like a lot of days too. I think that you were Googling harpoon tips because you've been getting really into fishing and you thought oh, that maybe, maybe okay. you wanted to know how much they cost and... Maybe you also search some legal, like, is it legal to harpoon fish in Minnesota also? That might be, like, the next one you Googled. So tip as in, like, information, not the tip of a spear. Yeah, yeah. I was definitely looking at, because I watched a couple episodes of River Monsters, and I was curious because Jeremy Wade was fucking (laughs) launching harpoons out of the side of a fucking boat. That was huge. And I was like, how do you do that? How do you, like... Is there like a, do you tie the rope to it? Is there like a science behind harpooning? And then, yeah, uh, big, and then I was directed. It's just a big old fish hook that you throw. And then I was directed to some pretty sad facts about how many, how many whales are harpooned each year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's probably not. It didn't make me sad nearly as enough to like throw me off Don't of the it. idea. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, yeah, it's like, like the, the orcas are fighting back anyway. They've sunk like what? Four ships now. Like, it, what's? Hey, are you telling me if you got the if you got the opportunity to go hunt huge fish off the side of a boat with a harpoon, you wouldn't even be a little bit interested? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it if you paid me to do it. <laughs> Out of a moral thing, or why is that? Because I hate sea creatures. Number one, morally incorrect. Number two, smelly. Number three. Wet and salty for hours and hours on the open ocean. No, thank you. Every type of fishing sucks ass, and uh, that's uh, that's the truth. What about fishing? What about fishing for puss? What about yeah? What Disgusting. Is- <laughs> I respectfully court ladies. Okay. 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 
Hmm. Now, now I want you to try and guess what I was trying to find with this, and this one's a pretty hard one. Mm. Oh boy, <laughs> Alexis, <laughs> Texas. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. So you get away with it. Cool. <laughs> the whole rest of this episode, I'm making it my mission to drop as many four star names as possible. You guys suck. We're not friends anymore. None of us. Now, this one is going to be pretty tough to, 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 to figure out. So, like, try and figure this one out. Pirate, watch the Life Aquatic online. Wait, what do you think? <laughs> um, you were interested in the aquatic life of pirates and were looking for a documentary to watch online. No, I was trying to pirate the life aquatic by Wes Anderson online. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> Why did you write the word pirate? <laughs> I think I might have been. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> I so think I was halfway only, between. So no, I think when it happened, you're on a list for googling kids oh, swimsuits. Fuck. You're also on another list for googling for on a piracy a movie. <laughs> I think what happened <laughs> is that Tyler wanted to watch this movie, but he was really high, so he did like a talk to type thing into his phone, and he just was like, <laughs> he just said the words into Google and hoped it found it for him. <laughs> <laughs> no, what had happened was. I meant to search like Pirate Bay, The Life Aquatic, and also halfway between, I was like, watch The Life Aquatic online. Mm -hmm. So they just kind of got mashed <laughs> together. So it was Pirate Watch, The Life Aquatic online. Did it work? Yes, it did work. Actually, oh, no, it nice. didn't. I didn't find oh. it and I didn't watch it. I own the DVD. <laughs> I bought it. Wait. I bought the DVD. <laughs> I bought oh, the DVD, bought Wes. Okay, you bought it after that. Okay. No, no, I bought it. I had, I owned it. I still own it. And it's in my house, Wes Anderson. And I can prove that to you. Mm, okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah. So. That's how I watched The Martian the other day. By, by owning the DVD? <laughs> yes. Exactly. And you Great should movie, own the, the DVD. Awesome movie. Oh, speaking of movies, can I derail really quick? Yeah. Nope. I watched a good movie for. <laughs> <laughs> I watched a good movie for once. What, hmm. what movie? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Tori, we can make this fun. Mm -hmm. Hold on, Please. let me give you, let me give you, let me give you a stipulation so you don't like insult me here. What is a movie you think I wouldn't watch? That is a good movie that I could have potentially watched. Literally, that's literally about every, any, okay, every single let's, movie. Let's, let's recontextualize here. What is the least likely movie? that you have recommended to me that I would have watched? Again, any literal... All of them. You know all what? the movies that have ever guess. been just made. Just guess. say the movie. The menu. Ah, damn it. I was going to guess what movie you saw. Was that going to be your guess? No, I was going to say something like the Power Rangers movie. Oh, or Exactly. That's why I didn't... That's why I wanted some... Or never maybe, mind. The menu or maybe, like, was really Bluey good. made a movie. It was really, really good. I enjoyed the hell out of it. There's a lot yes. of symbolism, and it makes you think. Ray Fiennes is an incredible actor. Mm -hmm. And it also, that doesn't look like how you should say his name, and it's fucked up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rafe. yeah. The, the his main, name the, is Rafe Fiennes, and if you look it up, that, you're going to be like, huh, that's how you say yeah. it? That's I think fucked I up. <laughs> look, here's another thing I'm going to say, Tay. Uh-oh. You watching a movie that is in the popular zeitgeist and being proud of yourself is not an entertaining podcast topic. Okay, but we'll sit here and talk about how you think your dog owns C cups and that's okay. It was fucking funny, wasn't it? <laughs> it, it was, it was funny. I didn't go, can I derail? Yeah. Hold on, let me stop your topic. I actually watched a movie. Are you going to clap? Well, usually, like, you guys bully me for not watching movies, so I wanted some praise because my brain is broken. You're not going to get it here. Oh. Now, what do you Wimpo. think I was... Now, what do you think I was trying to get out of Dale Earnhardt PNG? <laughs> <laughs> that was on... That was on... That was, that was on February 28th. And hey, I don't, hey, I don't I'm going to tell think that one has too much oh, room fuck. for interpretation. <laughs> I'm going to tell you I'm going to tell you the really funny part too about 
Googling Dale Earnhardt PNG on February 28th. That's my anniversary. That's <laughs> fucking hilarious. That, that's, <laughs> that's, You're like, hold that's, on. <laughs> knowing you. It's all I Googled you. on February 28th was Dale Earnhardt PNG. Oh, my God. Were you guys trying to learn if uh, the king had ever raced in Papua New Guinea? <laughs> well, no, it's a PNG. <laughs> It, it, it doesn't I, have it doesn't have any other info other than just the picture. I tell you, I know that Papua New Guinea PNG. Oh, oh no! I think I'm not going to participate in the rest of this show. <laughs> no, you know what? That that's fair. <laughs> like, I I just you know you can go to Google on on like your anniversary and be like you know maybe you're looking up like oh. Greetings, restaurants, cro- restaurants, <laughs> yeah. showtimes. Uh, yeah, movies. exactly. All of these, G-spot? all of these potentially romantic <laughs> with, with the question mark. It has to be with the question mark. <laughs> like how to do sex good, how to do sex really good. <laughs> top how t- 10 sex havers. Yeah, top, <laughs> top, <laughs> top 10 advice for sex. Welcome to Watch Mojo. <laughs> Top 10 best places for sex near me. Like <laughs> lots of lots of different things you could be Googling on your anniversary. But no, 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 no. On mine, I was doing... This is how you know I'm a great romantic partner is I was Googling Dale Earnhardt PNG mm-hmm. on my anniversary. Mm-hmm. It's because you got a picture of the king to put on a, a cake for your anniversary. And you needed oh, to show the baker. You needed to show the baker an image. So that's what you searched. And he was like, no need. I have number three <laughs> ingrained right into my brain. No need. The mustache and everything was perfectly replicated. It was, it was truly incredible. The baker takes off his sunglasses. It's him. He's Whoa. Dale Earnhardt. Whoa, Dale! And then he like salutes and then like ro- floats through the ceiling on with angel wings. <laughs> no one's no one's ever gonna believe me that I saw the ghost of Dale Earnhardt Jr. baking the cake for my anniversary. <laughs> he ain't dead. He's just a lap ahead, and by a lap ahead, he just wanted to get out of the fucking. He wanted to get out of the race. He his real passion was baking, if you would mm. believe it. So those are all the things that I Googled this year that I wanted to share with you. Just This kind of year? Well, not, you know, it's not everything. Like, oh, I have okay. a lot of, there's, look, 98% of it is, what day is this? This is March 23rd, and on March 23rd, I searched Garth Brooks' greatest hits. That's about 98% wow. of my Google searches. You want to associate your name with that sick fuck? With Garth Brooks? Yeah, you ever heard yeah. the Thunder Rolls? That's a fucking banger. Yeah, but isn't there something where, he, like, his tour schedule really lines up with missing girls? Really? That's crazy. Yeah, it, that's a... Look, I don't know if we can accuse Garth Brooks of being a serial killer. <laughs> I, I know. I'm podcasting get away with it. I feel yeah. like that's a correlation, not causation kind of deal. No, well, here's the thing is, we don't know. We don't know. We're not <laughs> implying that he is. He makes great music. We just don't know what he does outside of his music. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And if that's know, ki- if that's killing people around the country, that's his own business. And we got to let him do it because he wrote the Thunder Rolls. And all I know is that someone said that to me and I've looked into it no further. Well, yeah, that's like... of things I know are things people have told me and are probably incorrect. I think after this, I'm going to Google Subway hours just to make sure Subway's open so that I can go get myself a Subway sandwich. Cool. I think that's what I'm going to Google afterwards. Uh, We didn't need to know that. I'd rather do your topic. What what movies have you seen? No, I'm kidding. (laughs) (laughs) Fine, fine, Tori. Fine, fine. We don't want to talk about my Googles. Fine. No, 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 fine, fine. You don't want to talk about my Googles? That's fine. I have No, I, I have don't want genuine... to talk about what Subway sandwich you're gonna get after this show. Yeah, that's that sucks. Are you sure it's a really good sandwich? <laughs> I yeah, bet you it's fucking not. For tips. I bet you <laughs> I bet you're getting a fucking veggie sub. Ew. Subway. <laughs> Imagine Googling like Subway tips because you're really nervous and you don't know how to <laughs> It's like rule number one. Do not start with uh 
<laughs> like Subway tip. Like I'm so, how do I, I need the wiki how article on how to order a good Subway sandwich. What if, what if they judge me for my bad sandwich? They will. They will. No, ma- no matter what you get, that sandwich artist will be judging you. What's, yeah. what's like the worst combo you could possibly put together though? Like what is, what's the one thing where they'd be like, what the f- fuck is wrong with you tuna sweet onion teriyaki <laughs> oh do they still do the seafood salad when the fuck have seafood they ever done a seafood salad, salad? i don't know oh, years ago yeah I I, I, god damn i guess i haven't been to subway even longer than i thought uh hold on hold on actually that did just give me an idea um i I did Google, and there is a WikiHow article because I did just Google tips for ordering at Subway. Oh no! And Tyler, now there's a there's a couple <laughs> different there's a couple different paths in front of us available, um, and we can choose the WikiHow how to order a Subway sandwich, twelve steps with pictures, <laughs> or we can do Subway hacks and tips you must know for your next order. This podcast started off really. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, what does this what does this even mean? Number one, maximize coverage. What, what the <laughs> fuck does that okay. mean? That's a, actually, no, seriously. Actually, this is amazing. Keep going. <laughs> what's the what's the reception like nationwide on this subway? <laughs> coverage. My subway hack is to have them put uh, but they spelled put wrong and they put out, which is makes this incredible. My yeah. subway hack is to have them put the mayo on the bread before anything else as opposed to putting it on as the very last thing in the middle of the sandwich that gets squeezed out when they try to close it even when they mess it up by trying to create a solid line lengthwise down the sub instead of going vertically in a pattern to maximize the coverage of mayo what an absolute fucking nightmare (laughs) so what you're telling me is you choose your bread and then you go, yeah, you know that bit at the very the end line. of the line? Go there first. <laughs> I want you to take this bread, walk all the... Fo- I want you to march your ass to the end of this ordeal. I want you to hand it to the second person that does that part of the bar. I want We're you to interrupt it- because here's what's always happening. They're working on the order in front of you. So if you ask them to like, no, no, no cut in front, disrupt the whole logical yeah. order of this chain and, and put the mayo on first and, ma- and imagine looking a subway worker in the eyes and say, put the mayo on and make sure to maximize the coverage. Okay. <laughs> really, make sure- that's criminal behavior, actually criminal behavior. We missed a couple episodes recently. Like we've missed too many episodes. This is what people are going to tune in for. They are like, they have been <laughs> dying for these subway topics. They're like, yeah, yeah. How has their how has their opinion changed on subway? Have they yeah? What have they fast lost casual <laughs> dining place are they going to fucking tackle next? <laughs> and uh, hey, hey, we're here for you. Okay, we're here to make sure that you have the subway hacks you need for next time <laughs> you order. Like, hey, make sure. Hey, uh, you got to have like a Bluetooth speaker in your ear and like you got to be talking like in the shittiest tone imaginable to the worker and you got to be like, hey, uh, make sure on that uh, mayo, you're really uh, fucking maximizing the real estate coverage of this fucking mayo, okay? I want you, I want full real estate. You know, I see there's about, you know, a square foot there of bread. I want a square foot of mayo, fuckhead. Oh, fuck. That's so much mayo. Oh, <laughs> Gross. A pizza sub that's not on the menu. I fucking hate these sec- this God secret damn menu it. Secret shit. Secret menu bullshit. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. You're not order. It's not a secret. You're just making life difficult for everyone involved. I'm okay with secret menu items that you have to put together yourself, though. That's fine. If you're like, I'm yeah. going to order a McChicken and a McDouble, and I'm going to make a fucking McCowbird or whatever the fuck they call that. Uh... A McDouble and a McChicken is known as a McGangbang, Tori. Okay. Gross. I'm angry at you right now, Tay. If you're if you're looking your subway worker in the eye and you're like, "Hey, I want the pizza sub," they're gonna they're gonna look right back at you and they're and they <laughs> legally should be able to say, "Get the hell out of my subway restaurant! <laughs> get the get the fuck hell out, out of here!" You 
get on out of here, mister. You don't deserve my artistry. You do not deserve, <laughs> you do not deserve the Subway sandwich I could have made for you that's on the menu. Or Subway, there's not even really a menu. Yeah, to be fair, Subway is a is a create your own, like they have a menu, but like you could also just walk in and start naming things. Mm-hmm. True. And they'll start putting it on bread for you. Here's the pizza sub. It's wheat bread. Do they have That's a pretty wheat? rough start. Why would it not yeah. be Italian bread? Yeah. What the fuck? I don't even know if they have a bread just called wheat bread, but whatever. Also, what? Okay, this might be the only application for flatbread at Subway. Yeah, like, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Yep, the one right and there. only. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You kind of, you kind of just, you kind of just got a triple twenty on that one, Tay. Real bullseye. Like, thanks. Why would you not get the flatbread? It's a pizza. Are you stupid? Okay. Their their secret recipe though is wheat bread. Ask them to put the marinara sauce on the bread, but not like I'm pretty sure it's meatball. I don't think they have marinara separate i think the marinara no. comes with the meatballs and exactly. that's it they're they're telling what they're telling them is i want the sauce from that vat of meatballs but i don't want any of the meatballs yeah, yeah push push the ladle against the side and let those kind of liquid pool in you know <laughs> this gets better this gets better the more i go on with this this is fucking incredible imagine looking them in the eyes and and saying i want the meatball marinara Get rid of the meatballs, though. Push them in the fucking garbage. Oh, no, no, no. I don't care the cost that I incur in this in this order. That's fine. I'm willing to splurge on my secret <laughs> menu item. A, a BLT at Subway is like fucking $12 now for a foot long. Mm-hmm. Imagine the cost of throwing away the meatballs from your marinara. I think, I think we have to run under the assumption that they probably have marinara sauce to add extra as well. I don't know if they do. I think I, it's I just. Don't, the I don't know meatballs. that they do, but I think it's. I think we're gonna lose our shit if if we can't <laughs> if we can't just establish that in this they they do have loose marinara somewhere in this restaurant and they will put it on bread if you ask them. We're no, we are establishing that you have to special request this worker to individually pluck the meatballs out of your marinara, which is insane. That's what we're getting at. Is this All person? Right, so is you're at twelve dollars already, and you've had yeah. one thing put on. Mm-hmm. Well, twelve dollars for a BLT for a marinara th- meatball oh. sub. It's like fifteen. There, yeah, you're already at fifteen right here. Pepperoni and the salami, provolone or American cheese. Why would you not get what mozzarella? Why because would you not you get mozzarella? American. It's cheese. Do they have mozzarella at Subway? I don't know, but like, why would you do American cheese on a pizza? That sounds. Gr- I don't even like American yeah. cheese on like things it's meant to go on. Olives, onions, bell peppers, then have them toast the sandwich. Okay, so now we're doing another fucking out of order thing. So, yep. again, why not just use the flatbread and tell them to make a pizza with the ingredients in front of them? This is so much. And then after they toast it, you put the tomatoes on it. And then you ask them to put Parmesan cheese on after They've toasted it. Oh my it. fucking God. And then Chipotle sauce. What? Do you, does this person know what a pizza is? I don't, I don't think, think so. so. And also I know that they're pompous. Like <laughs> I have like this special thing at Subway. I've got a then, Subway hag. <laughs> every time they walk in there, the fucking sandwich artist is like, I think I might just go in the back and you know, you know. Know what? You know. What do you mean? They're going to make your food stinky and bad. Oh, yep. okay. Uh, next, 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 uh, next subway tip. Think like an artist. <laughs> Think of the menu items as the clean palette. I guess one of the big selling points with Subway is that even if you have a weird taste and decide you want mayo on a pizza sub, they'll give you the option to do so. By no means do you need to embrace this idea, though. Don't let the op don't let the option to choose overwhelm you. This is actually like this is actually like written like you're trying to describe to an alien how is, how to I, approach Subway. No. This article was written by Tim Robinson going, I'm not weird! I'm not weird! I'm not weird! 
the thing that gets me about this entry in particular is that they mentioned the pizza sub as if it's a thing you can get. Yeah, we just established <laughs> we just this is secret menu. It's not. This isn't a thing. This oh isn't a God. thing. The main two things to worry about, as if you didn't need more to worry about when going into a subway, folks. There are so many things to worry about when you walk into a subway. But here's the main two things that you need to be worried about. Are the type of sub and the type of bread. Yeah, I don't know what else are you doing at a subway that would be cause for concern. <laughs> oh, God, I hope I don't die in this subway. That would suck. Was this cold cut combo free range? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so hung up on this person. Like, you've ordered at, if you've been there, you've ordered at a subway, and you know that, like, if you ask for anything slightly out of the norm, the sandwich artists kind of shut down for a sec. Like, they have to reboot before they can process. Like, I don't like condiments. So they go, What condiment? And I say, Nothing. And they go, What? Like, they don't understand how to do that let alone all of the, like, hey, I want you to basically make me a pizza that's not a pizza and then put a lot of mayo on it. Make sure you get max coverage. <laughs> They're not going to know how to speak English words. <laughs> They're gonna, you're going to brick their brain for a little bit and you got to be it's, ready for that. You're going to fucking do a, a software dump. Like they're, everything's out and you, they just have to, they're a baby again. You have to teach them everything. <laughs> you have to then take care of them. You got to take them <laughs> you, you adopt them then. <laughs> Yeah, I got this sub. I got this sandwich artist a couple months ago. Like, look at it, he's just the cutest little thing, he, like swaddling <laughs> a full grown man. It's like, well, how, wait, what happened? How did you get him? Well, I, I asked for uh, a marinara. I asked for marinara sauce, and and so I told him to dig around the meatballs and just put the sauce on there. <laughs> this is a subway employee just starts weeping, <laughs> and, then, and then he started crying and fell over. Now he's mine. <laughs> What really got him is I asked him to dig around the meatballs and just pull out the marinara. And then he he reached for the gloves and I said, no, 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 do it without the gloves. <laughs> do it with no, your no, bare no. hands. Cup it, cup it in your hands. <laughs> cup it, cup it in your hands, please. Um, This next sentence is also fucking wild. <clears throat> if you're the type of person that freezes up upon personal interaction, look at the menu online before you go in and think to yourself, what would be good on this sub? If you're if you, someone who has who worries about social interaction, you've already known to do that since the invention of the internet. <laughs> but no, what, I I get that. I get that. I can fully I can fully do that. Right? Like I can fully empathize with that. Yeah. We're we're talking about the most popular restaurant in the world, though. <laughs> we're talking we are talking about literally the restaurant with the most locations globally than any other restaurant. I don't know if you need to, they got the same thing everywhere. I don't it's like it's also not like, oh, I don't get Chinese a lot, so I don't really know what's on the menu. It's like this is sandwiches. Yeah. This is a sandwich. This is like maybe one of the first things you've ever eaten in your life. Like, it's pretty simple. If you can manage it, ask the sandwich artist what goes well with this sub, and they can give you recommendations. Mm, a dry red. <laughs> <laughs> they fully, like, stick their nose in the... They, like, put their nose in the little canister of olives, and they're like... <laughs> Mm, this is this is a 2007 batch from Italy. These black olives. <laughs> we should have thrown these <laughs> a decade ago, <laughs> but no one orders them because they're gross. <laughs> Puts it up to his ear. <sighs> oh my god! Oh my god! Now, tip number eight for Subway. This is. This is someone just explaining the concept of a Subway <laughs> sandwich. <laughs> the type of sub indicates usually just meat ingredients that will be included. For example, the pizza club, the pizza sub comes with pepperoni <laughs> cheese. And again, we're referencing back to the pizza sub as if it's a real thing. Ordering just a just pizza sub is not weird. It's not weird to order a pizza sub. <laughs> I did nothing wrong. <laughs> We keep referencing it. Why do we keep referencing that one? We established earlier this is a secret menu item. 
just say cold cut or Italian BMT or any number of <laughs> a, a tuna fucking any of the subs that exist on there. But then they go on to just say like, you then have several options to customize your sandwich, like the type of bread, the size, six inches or foot long, vegetables, sauces, and spices. Whether or not you want meatballs in the marinara sauce. It's not weird. Who is this for? Who is this article for? Hold on. This podcast. For us. <laughs> Unlike other restaurants where the sandwiches are usually topped already and you might get stuck with one or more ingredients that you don't like, at Subway, you get to choose the toppings that you like. It's a bit daunting at first, especially if it's busy. <laughs> but after a few visits and you've learned what the options are, and your ordering will start to speed up. Wow. That's you just my guy. That's not a subway hack. You just explained the concept of the subway. <laughs> and also it's you like, just, oh, at, at most restaurants, like every restaurant I go to, I modify the toppings on the sandwich and they've never said no. You know, like you can mm-hmm, go to mm-hmm. like a McDonald's and be like, I don't want onions on that. And they're like, we got you. It's not just subway. But anyway, I need to read this to see if this is worth reading. But it just like it just says line hack. What's the line uh, hack? <laughs> Push a baby over. What do you mean? What do you mean this is not a hack? This literally just says, make sure you start below the sign that says start here. <laughs> That's not a hack. Really? Okay, you're just at, who, okay, this isn't for us. Who is this for? This is for an alien. Someone who's Because now never you're just ex- explaining the concept of queuing up. Like, because like, it's like you said, it's the most popular restaurant on the planet. The only person who wouldn't know about these kind of things is is either like completely isolated from society or not from this planet. <laughs> if you don't know what to do, just go to the start here sign and they'll start asking you questions from there. They'll ask you things like what kind of sandwich on what kind of bread and the size of sandwich, if it's toasted or not, and what kind of cheese you would like. I hate this person. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so fucking hilarious. Someone, Someone got paid to write this. This was, this was written. Maybe. This could be a personal blog. You don't know. <laughs> they they did you're saying they do it for the love of the game. They they mm. they like per, they, they were felt, like, I was there once and I want to share for other people who are like me. <laughs> it's like a child on YouTube, like that just learned to tie their shoes and then they very excitedly make a YouTube video like, okay guys. So, and they're like trying to balance their phone and like the camera quality sucks. And they're like, so like, this is how you do it. And they just learn. And you can see them struggling halfway through doing the knot. Like they forgot how to also do it. Yeah. This is someone who is that's just so excited. W- that's way more endearing though. Yeah, true. Because imagine that video, but in the context of someone excitedly running into a subway and then forgetting how it operates halfway through, but still they got their phone up and they're filming the employee oh just God. like while they froze up. Again, oh. that's just a Tim Robinson sketch. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this person just loves Subway because they end it with... I used to work at Subway when I was in my first year of university. This customer would come in, order a veggie sub, parentheses, no meat. Yeah, I kind of fucking figured <laughs> it's called a it's called a veggie sub. Never, never, never seen a veggie sub before that comes stacked with black forest ham. <laughs> <laughs> this is our this is our veggie sub. It comes with uh, lettuce, tomato, onion, and beef brisket. <laughs> This customer would order a veggie sub, parentheses, no meat, and just ask for three handfuls. <laughs> they would ask for three handfuls of jalapenos topped with chili sauce. No drink either. So just <laughs> order whatever you feel like eating. That is psychotic. That's what they that's what they end the article with is just order whatever you feel like eating. I feel hurt. Yeah, like three handfuls of jalapenos and chili. They once again reiterate. Personally, I get Southwest dressing with everything except for when I get my pizza sub. Where I just, <laughs> where fucking, I I just fucking get out of this episode. I don't fucking want to hear about Subway anymore. God damn just, it. Where I just ask for extra pizza sauce. No, no, no. You haven't dug around in the marinara sauce for long enough. Get some more on that, bitch. I like it wet. <laughs> Get back in that tub. 
God, I'm angry. You know what's not fresh? This podcast. So thank you so much for listening. Go ahead and leave a like, favorite, comment, and a review wherever applicable. Really helps the show out, gets us into curated lists, and helps us beat that algorithm, baby. And if you want to join in the discourse, you can join our Discord by looking at the description of wherever you're listening to this episode. You can also go over to youtube.com slash shapelessmedia, which is the YouTube channel that corresponds with this very podcast. You'll find every single episode over there. And so you can, you know, subscribe, watch some good shit, some of that old shit. See us when we were j- j- just pups. All right. Yeah. Do you like that one? Do you want another pass at that? <clears throat> I don't need another pass at that. I didn't like it, but you know, <laughs> they're all, like, they can't all be home runs. 99.9% of what I say is a de- is a fucking home run smash hit, but that one, it's a miss. Mm-hmm. You can't, yeah, you can't bat for a thousand in a season. Okay. It's just not possible. We've now reached the point of the episode where we're going to leave you with one last bit of nasty information that you can do whatever you want with. It's, it's, it, it's truly vile what we're about to say, and most of the time it makes you feel just extremely icky. And it's what we leave you with for an entire week until the next episode. You know, my baseless claim of the week is, um, you know how there's a movement to give teachers guns in the classroom? <laughs> this is a very strange tonal shift, but go on. I am now firmly in the camp of we should arm all Subway sandwich artists. And if you order something they deem fucked up enough, they just get to shoot you. They (laughs) just get to shoot you on the spot. I'm I'm a little bit on board with that, I think. They cut the bread and you're like, okay, uh, can I just get mayo on there? They're like, "Uh, okay, I guess sure. That's not really the order. All right, what else? That's it. Close it up. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you walk in yeah can i get the uh pizza so- <laughs> <laughs> my baseless claim is that subway is the worst fast food restaurant period you eat taco bell the fuck taco bell is so much better than subway my guy I hate to t- I hate to tell you this Tate, but I literally just moments before you said Subway is the worst, I armed all Subway workers globally. <laughs> Good. I haven't They're been out to one to in a fuck- decade. They're out to fucking kill you. You just <laughs> insulted their entire brand. As long as I don't step foot inside one of them, I'm fine. They have full jurisdiction to kill you anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to mention. I didn't set jurisdiction boundaries. I just they have a them. license to kill. <laughs> You're gonna send a subway hit squad to my house. <laughs> I didn't organize it. They did that themselves. <laughs> Thank you, Gabe. This is the fully autonomous subway hit squad. 